Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful exponential math problem without any using calculator and with the help of different exponential identities. So the problem is 32 raised to power 5 minus 32 raised to power 4. Now how can we solve this math problem? First of all here we can write this base 32 as we can write this as 32 is the same as 2 time 2 which is 4, 4 time 2 is 8, 8 time 2 is 16, 16 time 2 is 32. So here 2 is 5 times, therefore we can write this in exponential form as 2 raised to power 5 or 2 raised to power 5. So here we replace this number 32 with 2 raised to power 5. So this number will become, this will become 32 is 2 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 5 minus 32 is 2 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 4. Here in both the terms we will use an exponential identity to multiply the powers with each other. So here in this step in both the terms we will use this one exponential identity. r raised to power m whole raised to power n. This can also be written as r raised to power m times n. So using this exponential identity here both the numbers will become this will become 2 raised to power we multiply the power so 4 times 5 is 25 so this will become 2 raised to power 25 minus 2 raised to power 4 times power is 20 so this will become 2 raised to power 20. Now here we can solve this number further using two different methods. The first one is to find out the value of 2 raised to power 25 and 2 raised to power 20 and then subtract the numbers. This is the first method. And the second method is to take out the factor 2 raised to power 20 common from both the numbers and then simplify the numbers. So here we will use our second method, second approach and we will take out the factor 2 raised to power 20 common from both the terms. So therefore, first we will simplify this first term. So therefore, next we can write this as 2 raised to power 25 can be written as the sum of 20 plus 5 minus 2 raised to power 20. Here in the first term we will use another exponential identity r raised to power m plus n identity. So here in the first term we will use this one exponential identity. We can write r raised to power m plus n as r raised to power m times r raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here we can write this first number as this would become 2 raised to power 20 times 2 raised to power 5 minus 2 raised to power 20. We have this factor this number 2 raised to power 20 is common in both the terms so we will take out common. So this will become taking 2 raised to power 20 common so this will become 2 raised to power 5 minus 1. Here we replace 2 raised to power 5 with its value that is 2 raised to power 5 is equal to 32. So this will become 32. So this whole number will become 2 raised to power 20 times no this is 32. 32 minus 1 is simply 31. So this will become 31. And we will try to multiply both the numbers without using any calculator. So how can we multiply these two numbers? First of all, we will try to find out the value of this number 2 raised to power 20. So here we can find out this value by multiplying 2 20 times. But we can also find out this value using an algebraic identity, a plus b whole square identity. So first we will make this number as an algebraic identity. So for that, next we can write this number as 2 raised to power 20, but 20 can be written as 10 times 2 times 31. Here in this one number we will use this one exponential identity r raised to power n times n this can also be written as r raised to power m whole raised to power n. So using this identity here we can write this number as this will become 2 raised to power 10 whole raised to power 2 times 31. And we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 10 and then we will use an algebraic identity here. So we will find out this value here. 2 raised to power 10. What does it mean by this number? This number means we have to multiply this base 10 times. So multiplying 2 10 times, it is a very famous number. 
that is equal to 1024 so this is 1024 now we will take square over this number as there is square over 2 raised to power 10 so taking square over this number we can write this number as 1024 can be written as the sum of 1000 plus 24 whole square here we will use an algebraic identity a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b so using that identity this will become a square so a is 1000 square plus b square b is 24 square plus 2 times a b you know a is 1000 times b is 24 so here what is the value of 1000 square since one square is simply one and there are three zeros so this will become double so there will be six zeros so the value of 1000 square is 1 million plus now we have to find out the value of 24 square it means we have to multiply 24 two times so we multiply this number two times here so 24 times 24 but we can write the second 24 as the sum of 20 plus 4 now here we can easily multiply this 24 with 20 and 4 so this is very simple 24 times 0 is 0 24 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 2 is 4 so this is 480 we will multiply this number with 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 6 one is carry 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so this is 96 here we will add these two numbers so 0 plus 6 is 6 9 plus 8 is 70 7 will be carried to this number 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is 576 so the value of 24 square is 576 so we will replace this with this one number plus no 2 times 24 is 48 and 48 times 1000 is 48000 so this will become 48000 here we will sum up these three numbers so this is very simple 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6 next is 7 next is 5 you come to the thousand place digits so 8 plus 0 is 8 next is 4 4 plus 0 is 4 0 1 so here the sum of these three numbers gives him this one number so finally the value of 2 raised to power 10 or the square of 1024 is 1,048,576 so here we will replace this number with this one value so this will become the value of this number is 1,048,576 times 31 now here we will try to multiply these two numbers without any rough work and without any calculator so how can we multiply these two numbers so this there is a very easy method first we will write this number as the same 1 million 48,576 times and here we can write this 31 as the sum of 30 plus 1 here we can very easily multiply this number with 30 and 1 so let's multiply these two numbers first we multiply this number with 30 so this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 3 is we have to multiply this number with 3 so we multiply 3 with this number 3 times 6 is 18 so 8 1 will be carried 3 times 7 is 21 21 plus 1 is 22 so 2 2 is carried 3 times 5 is 15 15 plus 2 is 17 so 7 1 will be carried 3 times 8 is 24 24 plus 1 is 25 so 25 5 and 2 will be carried 3 times 4 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so this is 4 1 will be carried 3 times 0 is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 3 times 1 is 3 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 31 million 457,280 plus now this number times 1 is simply this one number so this will become 1 million 48,576 now finally we will add up these two numbers so that will be our final answer now to add up these two numbers we will start from the ones position so here 6 plus 0 is 6 7 plus 8 is 15 so this is 5 going to be carried to the next digit next is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so this is 8 come to the next digit 8 plus 7 is 15 so 5 going to be carried to this one 4 plus 1 is 5, 
5 plus 5 is 10 so 0 will be carried to this one so 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 5 so this is 5 this is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 and this is 3 so here the sum of these two numbers gives him 32,505,856 so finally 32,505,856 is our answer and value of this beautiful simplification math problem.